it, Teresa. I don't have any feelings for Chad. Oh, oh, and P.S. Ethan does not love you. He loves Gwen, and he's going to marry her. Uh-uh. Not after the way Ethan kissed me. You are living in a fantasy world, Teresa. And you're living in denial if you won't admit that you're interested in Chad. For the last time, I'm not, okay? Okay. Let's ask Mother Nature, shall we? Hmm. Whitney loves Chad. She loves him not. Whitney loves Chad. She loves him not. Whitney loves Chad. She loves him not. Whitney loves Chad. Whitney loves Chad. Told you. Oh. Oh my gosh, this is so lame. Okay, if you did the exact same thing with another flower, the answer would be the opposite. Please. Nope. Fate would never let that happen. Say fate again and I will scream, okay? I know you don't believe in fate, but you should. Yeah, so I can keep making a fool of myself the way you do over Ethan. Please. Wit. Facts are facts. I mean, Chad said he was going to leave Harmony, and then out of the blue, he meets Crystal, a singer at the Harmony Jazz Club who can know all about his past. Okay, now you're jumping to conclusions. Crystal might know something about Chad's past, or she might not. What if Chad turns out to be the son of one of your mom's friends? Or of someone who works at the hospital? Or with your dad at Harmony High? I mean, your parents could already know Chad's parents and not even know it. You know, I don't know what's scarier, the fact that your imagination runs wild, or that there's a one in a million chance that you might be right. But it's not about me being right. Yeah, it's, it's I know, fate. In fact. Chad may have already learned who his parents are. He might even be talking to them right now. Maybe for Chad to find out who his parents are. Maybe my mom's attitude towards him would change. And maybe yours would too. And you'd admit that you'd like a relationship with Chad. I didn't say that. Then what are you saying? I'm just saying that if Chad did stay in harmony, maybe... His family and my family could become friends. Well, well, well. It sounds like the wall that you put up between you and Chad is starting to crumble. Limit your fantasizing to Ethan, please. Oh, wait. All I am saying is that by the time you realize you have feelings for Chad, it's going to be too late. What do you mean by that? There could be complications. Like what? Well, Chad might have another woman in his life. Oh, <laughs> are you talking about Simone? Please forget it. Your sister has a serious crush on Chad. Teresa, it's puppy love. Okay, Simone is just a girl. Chad's a man. He would never be interested in her that way. He would want someone more mature, more his equal. Someone more like you? I didn't say that. You didn't have to. Think what you want, Teresa. But one thing is definitely for sure, I am not throwing myself at Chad the way you do with Ethan. Ethan! I almost forgot my mission! Oh, why did I open my big mouth? Come on, with There's no time to waste. I have to wake Ethan up to the fact that he loves me and not Gwen. Come on! What are we doing here? I need to find books and magazines on romance. You know, helpful hints to win a rhythm. It's all right. It's okay. Totally Look, just so make it quick, okay? Why? Are you afraid you'll run into Chad? No. I just don't want him to think that I'm chasing after him, Teresa, because I'm not. Why don't you read about denial while I look for ways to make you even realize he loves me? I have to shock him into acknowledging his feelings for me. There aren't enough megawatts in New England to make that happen. Don't snipe at me, Whitney, because you're disappointed that Chad's not here. I wonder if maybe Chad found out some more information about his family. Maybe that's why he's not around. Read this. You need all the help you can get. An Idiot's Guidebook to Love. I don't need a book to tell me if I'm in love or not, okay? I know exactly where my heart is. My passion is tennis, not Chad Harris. Say his name, Whitney. But Chad.
say it again. Chad. Again. Chad. I knew it. The look in your eyes says it all. You like Chad. You may even be in love with him. Oh, that is so totally ridiculous. Deny it all you want, but the truth is in your eyes and it says it all. You have feelings for Chad. When you hold me in your arms late at night and you say Ladies, how's it going? Great. Yeah, okay. Thanks to you playing Cupid, Ethan's closer than ever to realizing he loves me. No, he's not. Your imagination is just working overtime as usual. Ignore her. The queen of denial thinks Ethan is a lost cause, but we know better, don't we, Chad? Yeah, well, it's true. You know, once somebody falls in love, ain't no stopping them. But it's also kind of like what I tell Whit. You can't make somebody fall in love with somebody else. It just happens, or it don't. But sometimes when a person's in love, they refuse to admit it. You do mean Ethan, right? Among others. Yeah. You never know what drives somebody. Take Whitney's mom's, for instance. What about my mom? She was in here earlier. We had a pretty good talk. You and my mom actually had a conversation. Mm hmm. Turns out we got a lot in common. Like jazz. My mother doesn't even like music, Chad, especially jazz. She was into it today. There was a song on about uh, about loss. I really got to her. Made her cry. That doesn't make any sense. My, my mom's never suffered any kind of loss that I know of. I think your mom's was remembering something that might have happened to her a long time ago. Maybe your mom suffered a loss that you don't know about. One she never talked about. Maybe that's why she heard the song and started crying. I, I can't imagine my mother keeping something so painful bottled up inside her. You know, she is a very emotional person. She cries at movies all the time. That song, maybe it touched her in that same way. Yeah. I really felt for her. I saw her crying. She seemed so sad. All vulnerable like. What's wrong? Just the thought of my mom being sad, it just makes me sad. She's my role model. I identify with her so much. You know, I never noticed it till now. But you got your mom's eyes. You got a sparkle to them. A glow. It ain't sad like your mom's eyes. No. There's a light to them that I see now. I ain't never seen before when you looked at me. Beautiful. There's a saying that eyes are the windows to the soul. You're so right, Chad. You know, I just told Whitney that anyone can tell from her eyes how she really feels. Yeah. But I can also tell you're still afraid to let anybody get to know you. But your mom's ain't, though. She opened up to you once, Chad. Why? I don't know. It's because of the music. See, sometimes a song can make people open up, admit to feelings they didn't know they had. Like, for instance, when I opened up the crystal at the jazz club, and her singing got to me, made me feel something, you know? I, if I had kept quiet, I would have known that her friend named her baby Chad Harris after Crystal's father. We connected because of a song. Just might work. When I meet Krista later on tonight, I'm hoping she's gonna tell me who I am. Who my folks are. You see, a song can turn your life in a whole new direction, Whitney. Remember that. I wish you 
wish you luck tonight, Chad. I really do. Thank you. I know what my next move is to make Ethan realize he loves me. And if you're smart, you'll take the next step with Chad.